In this video we're going to show you how to link to documents such as PDFs. You might want to do this if you want to link to a downloadable report or ebook. To do this you need to be logged into the administration backend of your website and from there access the article manager. Locate the article that contains the content in which you want to put the link. You can put links on images and text, so we're going to do both in this example. Select the text that you want to link to. Typically this would be the title of your document. Click on Insert Edit Link. To browse to PDF documents, you need to click on the Browse icon that is next to the URL field. From here you can select the document you want to link to. Before you can link to a document, it must be uploaded onto your web server. So to do this, click on the Upload icon from the browser window. Then in the Upload window, click on Add. Locate the document that you want to link to and select it, then click on Open. This will list the document in the queue. Click on Upload. Once the document has been successfully uploaded, you can click Close and you'll see the document listed in the list of resources. Select the document and you'll know it's selected because it will be highlighted and the details will be on the right hand side of the window. Click on Insert. You'll see the document now appears in the URL field. From here you can enter a title for your document. Then click on Insert. As you can see, the text is now a link. It is common practice to alert users that they'll be opening a document rather than going to another page. And you can do this by including the format and size of the file they're about to open. We'll also put a link on the image so that if people click on the image of the cover of the document, they can access it that way too. To do this, simply select the image, click on Insert Edit Link, click on the Browse button, select the document, and click on Insert. Include a title and then click on Insert again. To save your changes, click on Save or Apply. We can preview what that looks like. And there you can see the link with the title that displays when I hover over it. There's also a link on the image if they choose to click on that. When you click on one of these links, the browser will either open the document in a tab or download it depending on your browser settings. And that's all there is to it.